Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VCEL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis a couple days ago, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. I like to do this time frame. I think there's a good job of, you know, mapping out where levels of support and resistance are. Uh, and for this, kind of always a tricky one to do from a presentation standpoint, because it just depends. What do I mean by it depends? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought right there, or you bought right there, and you were hoping to sell within, you know, 11.7 seconds, then yeah, for you, the charts look very bad. But if you care about the big picture of things, you know, the, the grand scheme of everything, then the bulls are still in control and you know the the uptrend is still in place and you know before you go and call me crazy well keep in mind what was your strategy going in again i fully understand if you're a day trader and you're bought up there then yeah me saying that you know this chart is still bullish may say may sound crazy but easy way to do that i'm going to get rid of these lines here sure they still pertain but they're not relevant at this point is let me just scrunch up the chart here and point out a couple lines namely this area right here, which wasn't, I guess it was tested once, but $2.95, and then this pink line right here. Let's just take it to the extreme. Let's say the price actually falls all the way down to that pink line, bounces around, and then heads back up. Even at that point in time, you'd have this base right here, you'd have that low right there, you'd have these lows down there. So if you picture each of these as stair steps, the stair steps would still be going in the upward direction. Again, if you're a day trader and you bought somewhere up around here, you could care less about any of this, but I'm talking about things from the big picture perspective. So yeah, the, the pullback the past couple of days has been pretty brutal, but depending on your strategy going in, the bulls still have an opportunity to build a higher low, and from a big picture perspective, that's how long-term uptrends are built. Higher bases after higher bases, and again, that higher base, uh, the bulls still have the potential to do that. In regards to levels of resistance, key thing right now is just getting back up above that purple line right there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. You can see the price try to get up above it the first 30 minutes right there, but then did get rejected back down by it. So that'll be the, the, the key you know, initial area of resistance. But at this point, breaking levels of resistance, not really a top priority in my opinion. Top priority is building a higher base, and uh, you know, if the price can build a higher base, the, the long-term chart will continue to take care of itself. So we'll see what happens with it. Rough way to end the week, but uh, bulls still have that opportunity to build a higher low. So we'll see if they can do that or not next week. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.